The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united heart and soul. No one claimed private ownership of any possessions, as everything they owned was held in common. The apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all accorded great respect. None of their members was ever in want, as all those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money from the sale of them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any who might be in need. There was a Levite of Cypriot origin called Joseph, whom the apostles surnamed Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He owned a piece of land and he sold it and brought the money and presented it to the apostles. And our response is from Psalm 93. Yahweh is king, robed in majesty, robed as Yahweh and girded with power. The world is indeed set firm. It can never be shaken. Your throne is set firm from of old, from all eternity you exist. Your decrees stand firm, unshakable. Holiness is the beauty of your house, Yahweh, for all time to come. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, do not be surprised when I say you must be born from above. The wind blows where it pleases. You can hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes or where it is going. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. How is that possible? asked Nicodemus. Jesus replied, you are the teacher of Israel and you do not know these things. In all truth, I tell you, we speak only about what we know and witness only to what we have seen. And yet you people reject our evidence. If you do not believe me when I speak to you about earthly things, how will you believe me when I speak to you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man. As Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen.